Hi, welcome to my Slack tour and why I use Slack to communicate with my team and keep them in a loop as an agency. Hi, my name is Brandon Grace Wong and I'm the founder of Totally Branded, where we help digital agencies add 7K to their revenue in our seven day free trial. So first, why do we use Slack? It's very, very simple. Number one, it is actually very simple to use. Number two, it integrates with pretty much any software that you'd like. And number three, there are channels to easily organize different projects. If you're an owner or a founder of your own digital agency and you're interested in checking out our 7K in seven days, this is the best communication. All right, so welcome to our Slack at Totally Branded. So you can see here, this is me. Like this is a conversation that I'm having with myself here, but I actually use this as a notes to keep track of content, to keep track of Zoom links, and I just use it to remind myself on basic things. So one of the fun things that you can actually do for yourself too on any channel message, on any message on Slack, is you're actually able to remind yourself about it. So I can schedule to remind myself that I have this Zoom call that I have next week on Tuesday, and I can just press custom and set that up to go off next Tuesday to be able to notify me that I have this Zoom call um, on Tuesday. My Zoom calls usually aren't scheduled here, but this was for a special occasion, but that's just an example of what you can do. So if somebody asked somebody on your team was like, hey, could you help me out with something on this date? You can easily set a reminder for yourself to know that you have to do something on that day. Of course, you can also mark it as unread and also pin this message and of course delete and edit the message. if you regret what you just said. So going through it, you can see the threads. Alrighty, so this is our agency channel. You might not have this and you might not structure your agency like this or your company like this, but we use this channel to log in and log out and let each team member know what we were up to today and also let everyone know when you're online. This is part of our team culture. The fun part is I can just reply straight up to this thread. So I can just say, hello. And then if I really want to get his attention at Muiz, so he knows I'm speaking to him, I can just say hello. And so if I were to reply to this thread and he were to reply back on this thread, it would show up in threads. So this is the threads. As you can see, I replied back to one of his Slack messages and I helped him answer a more difficult reply from a lead. And because he said thank you, that ended up in the thread. So this is any thread that you are a part of, it will show up up here. And on the sidebar here, you can see my friend Tuai, who has an agency called Boost My Closings, is a connection that I have on LinkedIn. So I can just easily message him, is a connection that I have on Slack. So I can just easily message him on Slack if I wanna say hi. It's like an Instagram DM, it's like a LinkedIn DM, but it's on Slack. Here we have a general queries and discussion channel for any suggestions that my team members may have or any changes that we've made to any templates or any changes that we've made to any testing um, in our entire agency, so that way everyone's kept in the loop. Of course, you could create as many channels as you possibly want for any possible reason, this is just one of the channels that we have and this is one of the things that we have set up. It's more so for suggestions and so that way everyone can be part of the process of scaling our agency. And at the top, you can create folders and have bookmarks and your entire team would be able to find that. And at the top, you can pin a bookmark. So like it could be a link to something. It could be a link to a video. It could be a link to an SOP. It could be a link to a Google Sheet, a Google document, um, or you can just create a folder and have all those things inside. But I generally keep common links that we use every single day at the top of our channel bar. This is our KYL channel. KYL for us means keeping you in the loop. For you, it could mean something different. Sometimes if somebody has done something in our agency and just wants to let the rest of the team know and keep everybody else in the loop, they would send that message into KYL. So you can see here that we have daily coffee banter calls, which are like team culture calls, but also team checking calls every single day at 1 p.m. PST. Um, you can see Moise here has suggested something that has worked really, really well for him. So we may or may not add this into our templates. And sometimes when I create SOPs, even if it's for one person, I'll send it into the KYL channel, which means that it's optional to check. But if my other team members wanted to know what their teammates are up to, they're more than welcome to watch that SOP as well. Okay, so this is our LinkedIn quality check channel. So this is when my team members go into the accounts that each other manage and make sure that all the leads, all the connections that we're sending out to leads are qualified and making sure that 
we're covering any grammar mistakes, any spelling mistakes, any bad replies. And so that way we can learn from our mistakes and move on from that. And typically we go through these on our coffee banter calls just to make sure that everybody's on the same page. So as you can see on the side, we have some specific channels for our clients because sometimes we like to have guest trainees in our agency to train them on how to build a prospecting engine and how to run a prospecting engine before we send them back into their agency for them to be able to run the prospecting engine in our client's agency completely automated. So here's our prospects replies channel. I'm a little bit reluctant to show you guys this because we do get some negative replies once in a while, but that is normal. So you can see here, Frank, he had a bit of a more difficult reply that my LinkedIn prospector was having a little bit of trouble with. For most of the replies that we get, we have a replies sheet to be able to reply back to that reply for our lead. But in this case, this reply was not available on that sheet. And so either me or my COO or somebody else on my team will go in and help with that reply. And so this is what the prospect replies channels for. And so everybody is able to see this channel. I make this channel very, very transparent, even to our clients. So they can see that we also get negative replies as well. And we know how to handle them and how to handle them. So every, so this is a learning opportunity for everybody on the team. So I've asked my editor to go ahead and book out some of this information because these are all leads that have booked a call with my agency. And I don't want to reveal their information and I don't want to give away their information without their permission. And so you can see we have a Zapier that's connected to our sales and objections channel, which is where all of our leads come in and which is where all of our qualified leads come in from our prospecting engine and notifies my team that somebody has booked a call. So I can see this goes on for days and days and days and days and days and days. So every time someone books a call, all of the information shows up, the name of the lead, their email, the Zoom link, their company name, and where they found us. So some additional features on the full premium version of Slack is you can send out voice notes, you can send out video notes, and you can also do something called huddle calls, where you just directly hop on a call with one of your team members and then you can hop off and everything is very, very quick. And of course, you can share GIFs. So a couple other integrations that we have attached to our Slack is our pay funnels, so we know when a lead closes, Google Calendar, so we know when our next call is, Asana, where we keep our SOPs, and Zapier, so we can make custom automations for our Slack. And that's the end of my Slack tour for my agency, Totally Branded. Your Slack could look a lot more different based off of what your business looks like and needs. This is the best way to communicate with your team if you own a business, especially an agency. And no, we are not affiliated with Slack, but I just talk about Slack out of the sole love I have for Slack. Whether you use Slack or not to communicate with your team, having a proper communication method for your business is so, so, so important to make sure that your entire team is aligned and moving straight forward towards your goal and your vision for your business or your agency. If you're an owner or a founder of your own digital agency and you're interested in checking out our 7K in 7 days free trial, feel free to book a call with us below. This is our website. If you want to get in touch with me, say hi or ask me any questions you may have. This is my email. I'm always open to making new connections. If you want to connect with me on social media, this is my Instagram and this is my LinkedIn. I hope everyone has a fantastic day. Take care. Peace.